Today I'm going to be going over my improved method for dicing solar cells. So we're going to be uh, cutting some of these uh, broken silicon solar wafers and making them into uh, nice clean cut solar cells uh, for a, uh, a module I'm working on. And uh, I did another video with this uh, Harbor Freight saw and uh, you can cut solar cells with it but it's it doesn't work that great and I find that I was breaking a lot of cells so kind of forget about the using this what we have is a Dremel tool and they make these handy uh, like drill press accessories for the Dremel tool and I put it on a heavy-duty plywood baseboard for stability and I made a little stage here that elevates the solar cell up to the cutting bit and I put a little uh, edge edge bar here so we'll put this the solar cells will be on this piece of wood the edge bar kind of keeps it straight in one plane slides pretty well. I put a piece of uh, Lexan over top of the wood because the wood on wood had uh, a little too much friction. It was hard to slide the cells. So this Lexan helps the wood move, uh, move smoothly underneath the cutting bit. And you want to get that cutting bit adjusted so it's just right above the wood you're going to be cutting into that solar wafer almost like a, you would use a milling machine so and this this uh, lathe is or this uh, drill press attachment is kind of nice because it's adjustable you can adjust the height up and down and also if you get a kind of a solar cell or is uneven or it's not sitting right on the stage you can kind of make little fine adjustments with the, the drill press handle you can just kind of drop that bit and cut a little bit deeper if you need to so this is a really handy setup and I'll demonstrate it in a minute another thing to note is I'm using a, a diamond a grinding bit for, for cutting these cells. You can use ones that are a cheaper variety but I just want to show you something kind of interesting in the cheaper drill bit after a few cells after you cut a few cells there will be almost this little uh, this perfect uh, groove where the solar cells have been sliding past the bit So it wears out the uh, the cheap bits relatively quickly. So to get started, take your solar cell here. I just use some regular masking tape. Just put those, tape those corners just to hold the cell in place as it goes under the cutting bit. Let's, let's cut a cell.
go. Quick, clean. Cut. Just peel the tape back. Nice, clean edge on that solar cell. And it's ready to be used with the the rest of those. And there's a little dust that builds up, which uh, I like to use a vacuum. So just just clean out periodically. Every three or four cuts, it's a good idea to, to just suck that dust off because it does kind of get in the way. It gets underneath the next cell and kind of uh, makes it cut irregularly. Alright, here's another angle of it dicing itself. That, that pretty much concludes the video. Again, you, you want to get some uh, some old cells, build the the stage with the Lexan and the raised guide guide bar here for sliding. Uh, you want to get a Dremel tool with some different some different bits and this uh, this little drill press attachment that really that really makes it. Uh, this a lot easier. I don't think I could do it without this. And I have another here, just a scrap bin of old, just the ends that had been cut off of uh, cells that were damaged. So, hope you get good results with this.